Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is CM Freeze, and today I've decided that I am going to do a 10-person mock draft, or fantasy draft, mock draft, whatever you prefer to say, and the reason I'm doing this is, well, for fun, and I just wanted to show some of you guys what I would personally do with the first overall pick. I think I'm very good at fantasy football. I'm kind of a loser and a nerd when it comes to football and spend a ton of time doing research. I've done many mock drafts before, and I want to show you guys what I would do with arguably the hardest pick to pick with the first overall pick. So just quickly looking at our setup here, we got a PPR league, snake draft, 10 person. I did 10 person just because I, well, I, I felt like it, I guess, um, 10 persons average. I do, I do a couple of 10 people leagues. Um, as you can see, we have one quarterback, two running backs, two wide receivers, a flex, a tight end, and a defense and a kicker. Just your normal setup here. And so we got the first pick and I already clicked start. I'm a little impatient. I just want to get into this draft like I know you guys do. And so with the first overall pick, well, what do you do? Now, I think it's very obvious that you go Justin Jefferson if you have the first pick. I could see a case being made for McCaffrey or even Austin Eckler. But I'm going to personally go with Justin Jefferson. The main reason being that McCaffrey is on the 49ers, which is a team that has Debo Samuel, Ayuk, George Kittle, and also is really good in the run game. And then Austin Eckler is on a team where they have Keenan Allen, Mark or Mike Williams, even Quentin Johnson now that they got. There's so much talent on the 49ers and on the Chargers. But for the Vikings, Jefferson's kind of it. Yes, they have TJ Hawkinson. And I guess you can say that they have Alexander Madison. But for the last two years now, Jefferson has been the best wide receiver in the league. He is absolutely dominated. It doesn't matter if you double team him. It doesn't matter if you do press. It doesn't matter if you do zone. Justin Jefferson has to be the pick here. And there we go. That top five looks pretty similar. You're probably going to see that top five everywhere. Um, Chubb, Taylor, this is going exactly how any mock draft should go here. Mahomes, Josh Jacobs, Derrick Henry. Unfortunately, one of the really good running backs didn't fall to us here. I would have loved to pick up Derrick Henry. Um, Tony Pollard. <laughs> Maybe in the third round, I would pick up Tony Pollard, but I don't really want to do that here. My strategy with drafting, and I think what everyone's strategy should be, is to draft the best player available unless you absolutely need a position. So you already have three running backs and you're just missing a wide receiver. Then it makes sense. But I'm always going to draft the best player available, at least in these top five early rounds here. Um, Tony Pollard, I just, I'm just not sold on Pollard, at least not for my second round pick. I, Zeke took a lot of blocks and did take a lot of carries. We've never really seen Pollard as a true number one. I think I'm going to have to go with Jalen Waddle here. Garrett Wilson, same ish, same reason why I took Jefferson, or I guess didn't take McCaffrey and Eckler is why I wouldn't take Wilson, because the Jets just have so many wide receivers on that team. It's unbelievable. Um, and also, he did hurt himself in practice, and I don't really know the extent of that yet. No one does. So I think Waddle has to be the pickup. Tua turned the ball over, is back for Waddle, and I think he'll dominate. And here with the third pick, I think I got to go Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews is going to for sure be the second best tight end in fantasy. Um without a shadow of the doubt. Obviously, Travis Kelsey is one, but when it comes to terms of fantasy... Mark Andrews is going to prosper so much from having Lamar Jackson back. If you look at last year when Lamar Jackson was there, week one, he tight end 12, but then tight end one, tight end one, uh, we don't talk about week four, tight end three and tight end two. He was the top three tight end in four out of the six first weeks and Lamar Jackson was there. Then Lamar Jackson get hurt. He got hurt a little bit too, but when he's healthy, when Lamar's healthy, they absolutely dominate. And here in the top of the third round, having an absolute elite tight end, top two best tight end in the league, at least in terms of fantasy, I think other tight ends might be a little bit better than him, but for fantasy production, he is definitely up there for sure. Uh, ooh, 
I think pick four and pick five have to be Burrow and Mixon. Burrow is definitely one of the last goaded wide receivers left in the league. So I meant to say quarterback there, sorry. Anyways, Burrow is one of the top three quarterbacks in the league. I think I got to go Burrow and Mixon here. I love pairing up a quarterback with one of his teammates, either a tight end, wide receiver. Running back is a little bit less, but in this case, the Bengals, their team that scores a lot of touchdowns, have a phenomenal offense. You hit them with both ways. If Joe Burrow passes a touchdown, boom. If Joe Mixon rushes for a touchdown, boom. Hell, if Burrow then throws one to Mixon, that's double money there, baby. Here at the top of the, or bottom of the six, I should say, ooh, oh yeah, I know exactly who I'm going. I'm going James Conner. I absolutely love James Conner, and he is one of my sleeper picks here. He's actually probably my most, or my best sleeper pick, I would say. I would try to get James Conner on any fantasy team that you can in the sixth and seventh round. The Cardinals suck ass the cardinals are gonna suck their new head coach yes he hasn't played he's ass he fuck he sucked for the eagles as their defensive coordinator any eagles fan will tell you i will tell you cardinals are gonna suck the only bright side of that offense honestly is james connor murray's hurt hollywood brown is banged up no more hopkins it's not going to be pretty there. James Conner is going to get a bulk of the rushes. They have a better offensive line with Paris Johnson Jr. And he's probably going to get a hell of check downs. Um, here for our third pick, I really like our first six picks here. The only pick that I'm not sold on is Mixon. Uh, but I still really do like Mixon. We got two elite wide receivers, the second best tight end in the game, a top three quarterback, a sleeper pick in James Conner. I think we can go Javante Williams here. He had an amazing rookie season, but unfortunately, um, he had an amazing rookie season here. Um, unfortunately, last year, he got hurt and missed pretty much all year. So I think that I think we can afford to take a boomer bust player here in Javante Williams. Let him heal up a little bit, and then when we need to put him in for Joe Mixon and Connor, he can slide right in there. And if he starts really booming, then we can replace him with Joe Mixon. Or hell, even put him in our flex spot if we want to. Cam Akers here, I'm not sold on. I, I like Cam Akers just... I think I like the upside of Javante Williams more. You know, it's kind of like, do you draft the better player now or the player that has potential to be better? In this case, we've drafted a lot of better players now. And now finally here in the later round, we are going to take a little bit of a gamble with Javante Williams, who I, and also those, the Broncos O-line got a huge upgrade with Mike Baglinchy and Ben Powers. You can say that both of them are ass, but let me tell you this, name who was the right tackle and the left guard for the Broncos last season. That's right. You can't, they were upgrades. Um, here now, I think we got to go wide receiver. We have three running backs. I know we said draft best player available, but I, that's for like the first five picks. Once you get in the later round, Traylon Burks, yikes. Um, maybe he'll take a step, a big step too, but I personally would prefer Deontay Johnson. He is a number one for the Steelers. He's... Not someone I would maybe necessarily start at wide receiver. That's what Justin Jefferson and Waddle are for. Oh, wait a second. Never mind. Brandon Cooks is going to be the play here. Dak Prescott is elite in the regular season and especially against bad teams. The Brandon Cooks is just going to excel under Dak Prescott. C.D. Lamb will be wide receiver one. He will take up a ton of passes um, from Dak Prescott because people will be on C.D., He's had bad quarterback play for most of his career. Brandon Cooks is going to do really good. And I think it's time to get a backup quarterback. And I'm going to go with Tua, just to pair him with Waddle. Like I said, I really like to do those pairings. I think that Tua and Waddle will be good for when Burrow is not out. Or if, when Burrow's on his bye. And if Burrow misses the few first couple of weeks. They've been kind of... They haven't really told us much about that. Um... Here at the bottom of the 10th round, uh, what do we go here? What do we go here? Hmm. 
Just looking at all these players here. Cole Komet, that could be interesting. Who knows truly how much the Bears are going to use Cole Komet this year, picking up Deontay Foreman. Um, getting a backup tight end doesn't hurt. I like Cortland Sutton. Yeah, let's go with Cortland Sutton just to solidify our wide receiver group. And then I'm going to go with the 49ers defense here at the top of the 11th round. Some people might say that this is early, but I think the 49ers defense is the best defense. Pause. Maybe not the best defense, but in terms of fantasy, I think that they will be the best defense for us. They have to play the Cardinals twice. They have to play the Rams twice. That's four cupcake games right there. Um... Then I know that they also have to... I guess they have to play the Cowboys division this year. Redskins might be a little easy. Oh, oh never mind. Uh, I'm going to go with Tyler Algier here. 1,000 yards last year for the Falcons. Yes, they have Bijan, um, but I'm also going to go with Sam Laporta here as tight end. Uh, Laporta is looking like the clear number one tight end for the Detroit Lions. I think he will really help out, uh, help out the Detroit Lions. Um, and he's just a backup. So if Mark Andrews gets hurt, I think Sam Laporta can sit there and develop uh, for the regular season and then really bust out for us when we need him to. Here at pick 14, we got to go with kicker. I'm going to go with Young Way Koo. Just a consistent kicker. Falcons use him a lot. He doesn't really miss too much. And then for our last pick here, we can always get whatever we want. I think I'm going to double down on defense. I don't really like any of these flex guys. Maybe Jacoby Myers, but we already have a couple of guys with the week 13 bye. I really like picking up two defenses just because what you know how it gets whenever your defense is on a bye and then you have to go pick up a defense. So you have to cut a player that you don't necessarily want to cut. I'm going to pick up another defense here also because then that gives us two more premium defenses when the 49ers have a bye and it's time to go pick up a defense. You aren't stuck with a shit defense like the Falcons. So we're going to go with the Steelers here. They have a really good defense. They get a lot of sacks, a lot of fantasy production. And now we're looking at the team. We got Burrow and Mixon, James Conner, Justin Jefferson, Jalen Waddell, Mark Andrews, Javante Williams, Young Way Koo, and the 49ers defense. I really like that team. Uh, for the flex, I would probably put Brandon Cooks or Cortland Sutton over Javante Williams. That seems like probably the only issue our team has right now is we don't really have a clear flex. You could honestly put a couple of those guys in there. Um, so at the start of the regular season, the first couple of weeks, you're going to have... We've given ourselves a lot of picks and players to be able to use. So I'm really happy with how everything turned out, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will be doing more picks and more mock drafts in the future. So if you guys liked this content today, please like and subscribe. I will definitely be making higher quality videos. I am getting a fully upgraded PC in a week here. I just wanted to put something out just to kind of get some content going on the channel. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please leave any feedbacks down below. I will definitely be making more videos. Thank you so much and peace out, guys.